What's up everybody, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can use flowcharts in Adobe After Effects to quickly navigate and keep track of assets in your project. Let's get started. When you're working in a complex After Effects project, you might find yourself working with nested compositions. Now a nest is when you have a composition within a composition. To create one of these, you simply highlight a layer or a group of layers and select Layer Precompose. This will create a new composition in your project panel, and this comp will now show up as a layer in your original composition. This new comp is often referred to as a pre-composition or a pre-comp. Now working with nest and pre-comps can quickly become confusing. Trying to make your way to find a specific layer that's buried in pre-comps can prove to be a headache-inducing task. So this is where the flowchart panel comes into play. Using a flowchart gives you a bird's eye view of your project. You can modify and customize your flowchart how you'd like, and you can quickly navigate and access pre-comps and layers directly in your flowchart panel. So let's take a closer look at what you can do with this tool. So for my sample project here for this tutorial, I have an After Effects project with a few pre-comps. So what we're looking at here is a map of a section of Europe, and I have a comp called Europe. And if we go in here and look, we have quite a few layers, trees, we have the coast outline, some waves, and some water. But if you see here in United Kingdom, this is actually a pre-composition. So now if I open this up, it's another composition is launched here, and we see all of the sections of the United Kingdom, including Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. And if you look at England, again, we have another pre-composition. If I double-click this, now we have an England composition with all of the different sections of England. So now if we wanted to find a specific layer and make some adjustments to that layer, it might be a little difficult navigating in between all these compositions. So a much nicer and quicker way to navigate is to use the flowchart. So let's take a look at the flowchart panel. So to launch the flowchart panel, I can either just select the comp that I want to check out the flowchart for, I, I just highlight the composition panel, or I can go in the project panel and select my comp. So here I have Europe, which is our original kind of master comp. And I'm going to go to Composition, Composition Flowchart. And now we have our flowchart here, which is showing us all of our compositions and all of the layers and footage we have in each particular composition. I'm not really liking the layout, the look of this flowchart. So luckily, we can make some changes to the display options, which is what we'll do next. So luckily with the flowchart, there's plenty of customization options and display options that I can change, and then most of which are located right here in the panel menu. So if I open up the panel menu, you'll see that I can change exactly what's being displayed, and I can change how it's being displayed. So first of all, I don't like this top to bottom layout. I'm going to have it go left to right as if I am reading. We'll see how this looks. Actually, we'll have it go right to left. Okay, that's much better already. And let's say I want to have this justify left, much better. And now I want straight lines instead of curved lines. There we go. Also, I can quickly change if I just, let's say I just want to see the comps, I can kind of get rid of everything else. Let's turn this back on. And there we go. Now let's take a look at how we can navigate around in our flowchart. So one of my favorite aspects of the flowchart panel is that it gives you the ability to quickly see all of your assets, but not only that, you can quickly access your assets. So if I select on any of these assets here, like I just selected this layer here, layer two, which is trees, if you look down here, now it's highlighted. Now watch what happens as I select these different layers. You'll see that they're being selected right there in the composition panel. Now if I scroll down here, now let's go further down and look at our England comp with all of these different layers. Now anything I select here, which is different, this is actually the footage file. So if I look over here, they're being selected here, which is very cool. And now this works vice versa as well. If I go down here and I select a layer on my composition panel, we're going to see that it's being selected in the flowchart panel. This allows you to quickly find any assets you want. And also, I can launch these assets directly from the flowchart panel. Let's say I want to open up the England comp. I can simply double click here, and now my England comp is open and I'm ready to edit. 
So if you're not a big fan of the flowchart panel, if it's a little too clunky for you, you also have the option of using the mini flowchart panel, which if you use shortcut key tab, it launches the mini flowchart here. But you can also access it via composition, composition mini flowchart, or there's actually a mini flowchart button right here. I'll select that. Now what this allows you to do is quickly see just your comps and if I use the arrow keys here, I can navigate between these comps. And then if I select enter or I click, it's going to launch that comp. So let's see, um, let's say I wanna open up this United Kingdom comp, I can click it and now our United Kingdom comp is launched. And one last tip, if you look over here in the project panel, there's a flowchart button. This is the project flowchart button. So if I click this, it's gonna show me the master overview of our entire project. But you'll notice that it doesn't have our customization um, settings that we had for the last flowchart. These are specific to each flowchart that you customize. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.